for example. American Doll, Lego, iPad. Oh my goodness, the request for iPads this year is amazing. Kids may be asking for a lot of electronics these days, but jolly old Saint Nick is happy to stick with a trusty old pen and paper. Why? Because Santa Claus is writing a book. I'm really hoping to have it out for next Christmas. When you consider how many years he's been doing this and how many kids he chats with here at Market Wall alone. 15 to 16,000 kids in a, in a season. You can bet he's gathered quite a list of anecdotes and, of course, requests. Well, my, uh, my funniest one was a girl actually just earlier this year asked for a new Barbie. Her mother said, yeah, tell her why you want a new Barbie. Well, it turns out one of her other Barbies had run away because the girl was going to mummify her. One other kid seemed to be eyeing an early career. I had another young boy several years ago. He couldn't have been more than six years old. Wanted a MIG welder. And, of course, there's the kids who are more interested in the treats than the man. Tommy last year struggled to come sit with me to get a photo. Uh, finally got him sitting, got a picture. Canada in his candy cane, he ran off. We lost his picture in the computer. Mom called him back. And he's standing out in the hall yelling, Why? I already got the candy cane. Some requests, though, are a bit more difficult. I've had several children over the years ask for dead parents to be returned for Christmas. Um, I try my best to make them understand that it's Santa's magic is limits, and even he can't do that, but that it's important for us all to be together as family as best we can and to remember our loved ones and to remember that they're still with us and they're still part of us. That's ultimately what it comes down to, and Santa hopes the book he's writing is enjoyed by more than just the kids who gave him the stories. I've learned that everyone's a child. For Sun News, I'm Lyle Aspinall.